mindset? What's your mindset kind of going into it? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're coming for vengeance. I mean, uh, I feel like they threw the first punch out there in, at IU in Bloomington, um, and we had kind of had to play catch up the whole game. Um, uh, a lot of credit to the guys. We came out the second half ready to go, but again, sometimes when you're playing really good teams, it's hard to do that um, towards the end of the game. So um, I just think, man, we're going to make sure we come in from the jump and throw the first punch. And I think, honestly, usually when we've done that um, versus every team we've played, um, we usually end up with a win um, compared to playing catch up and letting teams start off with a good start versus us. But um, I think on both ends of the ball for 40 minutes, we're going to have to be really good. Um, obviously, the turnovers were the biggest thing that first time around, and it kind of uh, spiraled into a rough stretch for you guys in, in that aspect. Just how do you feel like you guys have come uh, from that game in terms of taking care of the ball and kind of getting back on that right track handling the basketball? Yeah, I mean, every day in practice we're doing certain drills to emphasize on taking care of the ball because um, we kind of noticed after IU game a lot of teams started to pressure us a lot more, um, you know, because we weren't handling pressure as well. Um, and I think that's one thing we've been doing a lot better in practice um, because we know a lot of teams are going to pressure us and get up on us. And some games they might foul, but we can't complain to, about refs and things like that because um, one thing Payne always tells us to do is always be try to be 10 points better in case the refs do try to get in the game. That could take them out. Um, so, I mean, again, just taking care of the ball, being poised throughout the whole game um, and handling pressure. Um, and then I think we got to make sure we like, you know, do a good job of stepping off other guys' players so we can be uh, ball relievers, um, pressure relievers for under our teammates. Um, Braden, us, and a lot of guys who bring it up, we got a lot of pressure on us. So just making sure we can get the ball in the post the right way and handling all that is going to be essential going into this game. And then going off of that, obviously, uh, I'm sure IU's going to want to come in here and try and throw that first bunch, you know, with yeah. their pressure. They're going to be on you guys, uh, try to close down those passing lanes and things like that. Um, you know, Handling the basketball is one thing in terms of making good passes, but in terms of just uh, the backcourt's ability to you know, move away from the ball and kind of help your teammates out, how, how much is that going to play a role in uh, cutting down on the turnover? Yeah, again, it um, comes down to just passing and catching, just simple things. Like I said, just getting open with catches um, and, and being pressure relievers. Um, they're going to pressure us full court on 94 feet. Um, and we know that, um, and me and Brayden are going to be prepared for that. But like I said, just getting in the half court and making sure we're getting open, being able to throw the ball into Zach. Zach's always open. He's always a pressure lever for us. Um, and I think that will help us. But another thing we should really do well this game is making sure we're screening off the ball for each other to get someone else open. I think sometimes we caught ourselves kind of just standing, and then that kind of really, uh, gets everybody down and kind of gets the pressure up a little bit more. So make sure we're screening away, getting each other open, and playing for one of another. Um, those turnovers really went down uh, against Maryland, but obviously the shots weren't always falling, and some of the defensive things in that game led to that outcome. But just how important was it, you know, against Ohio State for everyone to really contribute on the offensive end? I think you guys had 32 bench points. You know, it was yourself, Brandon, uh, Trey got in there and got yep. some good opportunities as well. Just how much of a confidence boost was that for some of the guys behind just the, uh, the normal guys that are scoring the basketball every game? Yeah, I mean, it's everything. I think it's funny because we were looking at some of the statistics from this year. Like, even a lot of the games where our shots haven't failed, um, we still won as long as we threw the first punch and we were the aggressors and we played really good defense. Um, so I think, again, man, that's just something we're going to have to do going to this game. But seeing guys like TKR, myself, uh, Brandon, and some of the other guys, even Carson coming in and getting, uh, it's crazy. Um, i seen some crazy stats say like per 40, whatever, like 50 or something <laughs> like that. I'm going to say that's crazy. Um, you know, but no, nah, man, it's good to see everybody winning and eating because um, I think we're really dangerous at that point. You know, obviously Zach and some of the other guys are going to score consistently, but when you can get some um, points from off the bench, I mean, I think it makes us even that much more dangerous, man. So um, I think that's another thing we're going to have to do going into this game because I use good. From the guard's perspective, I guess, what's going to help kind of limit his opportunities, limit those quality looks that, you know, he's yeah. capable of knocking down? Um, he came off a lot of ball screens, so we have a different ball screen coverage for that this time. Um, you know, we're going to down it instead of just letting him come off the screen down. It's just keeping it towards the sideline. Um, so he has only one way to go. I think that's one thing we, we're going to do that's going to change that. Um, he's a good player. He picks the spots well. We're going to have to pressure him a little more and make him uncomfortable. Um, with guards like that, they don't always like to be pressured. And, you know, obviously when they got space and opportunity, they're going to take advantage of it. Um, so I think that's one thing me, Braden, whoever, Ethan, and uh, Brandon, whoever's guarding him, got to be able to pressure him, get under him a little bit. And then again, just making sure when those ball screens come, we keep it a certain way so he doesn't have uh, um, options to go either way off of it.